The National Agency for the Prohibition of Trafficking in Persons, NAPTIP, says it is worried by the trend of trafficking of young Nigerian women to the Middle East. Representative of the Director General of NAPTIP, Hajara Tunde Osho, said this at the opening of a capacity building workshop for community based women led organizations. Stop human trafficking! The problem of human trafficking and irregular migration has become of great national concern, especially with a large number of Nigerians trapped in sexual and labor exploitation in various African and European countries, even internally. Between March 2020 and February 2021, NAPTIP was involved in the repatriation of close to 2,000 young women from domestic and sexual servitude from the Middle Eastern countries. Now, the organizers of the training say they hope to strengthen the capacity of women-led groups to carry out their mandates effectively. So it's important that we need to keep talking about it, keep sensitizing them about it, so that they also become aware of the gimmicks, of the tricks, and all the new tactics and strategies that traffickers are employing these days to lure young girls. As participants echoed the need for enlightenment at the grassroots, the role of the government and community-based organizations are also emphasized. NAPTIP is trying, but there needs to be a, a lot of, um, you know, we need to put our, uh, mouth, our mouth where our money is in terms of providing all that is needed. You cannot deal with the uh, issue of trafficking without providing adequate funding, which is what we found out that there are issues for in, in sites where there are protection services. The funds needed to drive to deal with this issue is lacking. So government needs to do quite a lot more uh, in that regard. And also putting in place, we have a lot of beautiful legislation, but implementation is always the problem. And so we need to also build the capacity of all our critical stakeholders, whether it's from the community, law enforcement, to understand these legislative frameworks that exist, how they're supposed to use them. There have been a lot of uh, awareness creation, but it seems to be at the upper level. There are so many people at the grassroots in the villages, rural areas who are not aware of this menace. And what we really need to do is to go into those interiors because that is where those victims are really picked from. Our community dialogue to meet up with a lot of things because people crossing from the border, that's the neighboring country, that's the Bene. Uh, a lot of activities has been going on there, a lot of checking needs to be done. In all, it is agreed that human trafficking represents a clear and present danger to life and national security, and it must be addressed boldly and frontally. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.